Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we had Johnny Depp take the stand. He's still there right now. Uh, I've been watching it for the past three hours or so. And what I wanted to do was obviously just break down key moments. And one of the most... One of, one of, the, one of the biggest key moments of this trial is actually just straight away when he sits down and he's asked, can you tell the trial why you're here today? And and I and I want to I wanted to give this video to you a little bit sooner than I would the rest of the Johnny Depp uh, you know parts where he's on the stand because I think this really needs to be out there sooner rather than later and it's heart wrenching it's absolutely heart wrenching so yeah there's there's not that much else to say on it but just listen to what is now very clearly a broken man. Good afternoon, Mr. Depp. Good afternoon. Can you please tell the jury why you're here today? Um, yes. Um, about six years ago, um, uh, Ms. Heard made uh, some quite heinous and um, uh, disturbing, uh, brought these disturbing criminal um, acts um, against uh, me that, uh, that were not based in any species of truth. Um, it, was a, it was a complete shock. Uh, that it would, it it just didn't need to go in that direction. Um, as nothing, nothing of the kind had ever happened. Though it, it, the relationship, um, there were um, arguments. And um, things of that nature, but never did I myself r reach the point of um, uh, striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck uh, um, any woman um, in my life. And so I. At the time, because the news of this, her accusations had uh, sort of permeated the industry and then made its way through media and social media, became quite a global um, uh, let's say, quote unquote, f fact, if you will. And since I knew that there was no truth to it whatsoever, I felt it my responsibility to, uh, to stand up not only for myself um, in that instance, but stand up for my children who at the time were uh, 14 and 16, and so they were in high school, and uh, I, I thought it was diabolical that my children would have to go to um, school and have their friends or people in the school approach them with the infamous People magazine cover with uh, uh, misheard with a a dark bruise on her face, um, and then it just kept um, the it, it kept multiplying. It, it, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. So it was my responsibility. I felt to not only attempt to clear my name. Um, for the sake of 
for many reasons, but I wanted to clear uh, my children of, of this horrid thing that they were having to read about their father, that was, which was untrue. And also, after many years of being in this um, industry, um, I, at the time, it was probably, I'd probably been in the industry 30 plus years, 35 years. Um, never had had any problems, anything like that. And I had met many people over, over the years, many, many of the people, and had had the opportunity to talk to those people and to um, g even give advice to these people. And I'm, I'm not, um, my goal is the truth. My goal is the truth because it, it, it killed me that people that I had spoken with, that I had met with over the years, who I, who maybe were in a, not such a great position and they needed advice, and I gave them the best advice I could, um, all I could think of was that those people would, would, would think that I um, was a fraud and that I had lied to them. And so I had to wait for my opportunity to um, address the charges, which were criminal charges. Um, and, 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 they, and they just weren't um, true. So I, I felt the responsibility of clearing the record as um, the only the only way that I could get that I could get to the point where I could speak um, has really taken this full six years, and it's been six years of trying times. It's very strange when. One day you're uh, Cinderella, so to speak, and then in 0 0.6 seconds you're Quasimodo. And um, I, 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 I didn't uh, deserve that, nor did my children, nor did the people who have believed in me for all these years. I, I didn't want anybody any of those people to believe that I had done them wrong or lied to them or that I was a fraud. I, I, I'm, I pride myself on honesty. I pride myself on truth. Truth is the only thing I'm interested in. Other lies will get you nowhere, but um, Lies build upon lies and build upon lies. It's too much to cover. I, I, I'm obsessed with the truth. And um, so today is my, actually my, the first uh, opportunity that I've been able to speak about this um, case uh, in full for the, for the first time.